company in Wyoming is bringing alternative fuel to technology, uh, alternative fuel technology that is, to the Bay Area. It actually could help with California's goal to reduce the use of fossil fuels. So this new technology, it could be installed at the West Contra Costa landfill. Our John Ramos shows us how it all works. It almost seems too good to be true, turning trash into clean burning fuel for automobiles and jet planes. But the company behind it says they can, and they're going to start right here in the city of Richmond. When the trucks rumble into the West Contra Costa landfill in Richmond these days, they're carrying more than just refuse. They may be carrying the promise of a real alternative to fossil fuels. I think when we are up and running and doing what we said we can do, people are going to be pretty proud that it was Richmond, California that was the first city. Matt Murdoch is the founder of a company called Raven SR that in the near future will be setting up shop in this yard at the landfill. When his equipment is up and running, it will begin processing organic material, yard waste, food scraps, even hazardous bio waste into clean burning transportation fuels. We can make diesel, we can make jet fuel, we can make sustainable aviation fuel, we can do hydrogen, we can do methanol, we can do ammonia. And so we can go into a lot of different pathways depending on what's needed within the market. It's a patented innovative process called steam CO2 reforming. The organic waste is heated with steam to a point where its molecules break down but never actually burn. That releases energy that can be converted to electricity and the remaining atoms can be reformed into other synthetic gases like hydrogen, which is one of the cleanest burning fuel alternatives on the market today. We essentially break down the molecules to the component parts and then rebuild it into a syngas. It's hard to find any downside to the project. It will generate power from the methane gas being vented from the landfill, cutting as much as 7,200 metric tons of carbon dioxide from the landfill each year. And because there is no burning, it will actually make the surrounding air cleaner. Overall, when we did the health risk assessment for our CEQA permitting, um, we actually lower the risk of cancer up to 6,000 feet away. For a city that often has a contentious attitude toward industrial projects, the response from climate activists has been uncharacteristically positive. I have worked on clean energy and air quality and climate change since the 1990s. I'm an old timer. I have yet to see a project that I think is as important for the local community as well as the global climate as Raven Energy's project. City leaders voted unanimously to move the project forward and now the eyes of the country and the world will be on Raven SR to see if they can deliver on the promise. Yeah, we have a lot of people that cannot wait to come and visit the plant and you know play with it, throw trash in and watch it come with the hydrogen. And so yeah, there's a lot of people watching us. They say great things come from modest beginnings, but who would have thought that the future of modern transportation may be beginning at the Richmond dump? And John tells us the next approval must come from the Bay Area Air Quality Management District. Now, the equipment is modular, so it is already being constructed off-site, and the company's founder says they could be operating as soon as the spring of next year.